Hey everyone, it's Allie with Bold Frenchies and Little Lark, isn't he adorable? I have a quick video for you today based upon a question that I get asked so often and it is about um, congestion um, and what to do when your puppy is congested. Now this can happen when they're a week old, believe it or not, it can even happen when they are 12 weeks old. Um, aspiration pneumonia is the number one killer of French Bulldog puppies, um, basically because they are flat faced. So when they nurse, um, a lot of times they can suck that milk back in through their nose um, and you need to act quickly. I mean, pretty much right away. So it's important to have the right tools at home um, and I'm going to show you what you need. So first of all, you're going to want to contact your vet. Uh, my vet is kind enough so I can have things kind of stocked up. And start your puppies either on, this is Batril, or you can start them on Clavamox. Usually we start on Clavamox first. And if that doesn't work after day three, if you're not seeing the congestion um, get better, if the puppy is declining more, we will switch to Batril, which is a little bit more uh, aggressive. Now. The other thing you're going to need is a nebulizer. Um, and this is actually just a child's nebulizer. You can get it off of Amazon for, um, I think this was 60 bucks. We have a few of them. We use them quite often. I'm gonna fix my camera here so I can show you. Um, and it's, it's a very simple system. So it has the, obviously the, um, the neb end. It comes with different size masks. And you are going to want to nebulize your puppy every two to three hours. Now, what do we put in the nebulizer? We do five milliliters colloidal silver. This stuff is amazing. In fact, this helped a lot of people with COVID. Um, this, this stuff is really amazing, okay? Um, and then we have this uh, saline, the brand, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I love it. It's made just for children um, and it is N-A-V-E-H and you can get this on Amazon. Have this handy guys. This is the saline we use. So five mil saline, five mil colloidal silver, okay? And I'm going to nebulize, if, if Lark was sick, I would nebulize him just like this for about eight or so minutes, usually is the magic time. Um, and I would do that every few hours, okay? So you have the combination of the medication, start with Clavamox, if that doesn't work after a few days, switch to Batril, and then you have the combination of nebulizing um, that puppy. Also, if you have an incubator, turn up the, um, temperature a couple degrees. Um, make sure you're not drying your puppies out. The way that you find out if they're dehydrated is you're going to lift their skin up. It should pop back down. So just like this, see, look at how that just pops back down. Now, if he was sick, if I did this, it would be like, mm, okay. So what you're going to want to do, if you are tube feeding, you can do electrolytes uh, in that tube feeding. A lot of times you will tube feed because they lose their appetite and their suckle when they're not feeling well. So you may have to switch to tube feeding. So again, have that handy. But if you're tube feeding, you also can tube feed them electrolytes like um, unflavored um, Pedialyte works great. If um, they are really struggling taking things down tube feeding, we will inject fluids. Um, a, lac a lactated ringer is a fluids that you can get as a prescription from your vet and you inject them right here in their neck with a needle to keep them um, artificially hydrated and it really, really does help. Um, so I hope that you guys find this helpful. Um, by the way, little Lark is available. Isn't he amazing? <laughs> Such a sweet boy too. So tiny, uh, 10 weeks old. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Uh, don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube. I have so many amazing videos over there. Um, and because it's really important for me to give back and help the breeding community. You can also visit our website at boldnorthfrenchies.com. Have a great day.